There are a lot of great books on habits right now, and a lot of them are even worth reading, but there are seven habit books that I have found to be the most influential and life-changing, especially for leaders and entrepreneurs. And there's a particular order in which to read them to make sure they make the biggest impact possible. Let's go through them one at a time. I'm Tara Wagner, breakthrough coach and lifelong entrepreneur. I help other entrepreneurs use a holistic approach to business so they can create profits they can depend on without burning themselves out. If that sounds like your jam, be sure to check out my free training on how you can do the same. The number one book on habits is not directly related to habits, but it is probably the number one book I'd recommend for most people to read. And it's the number one mindset book that I'd recommend you read as well. It's called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. And really what this book is going to do is get you committed to the process of developing your habits, of really mastering them and increasing them and figuring them out and sticking with it long enough to get to the results. Now, I'm not gonna talk a lot about The Slight Edge because this is my favorite book or my top recommendation in so many categories, I actually have a video dedicated just to this book. So if you have not read it yet, be sure to check out that video next. If you have read it, comment below and let other people know what you love the most about this book or whether or not you think that it's worth reading. The second book I recommend you read is Triggers, Creating Behaviors That Last, Becoming the Person You Want to Be by Marshall Goldsmith. This is essentially a book about the internal and external things that determine our behaviors and how to change both the internal and the external. What I really think the book is about though is understanding yourself, understanding what makes you tick, what drives your behaviors and how to make adjustments to it. So where the slight edge is gonna get you committed to the process, triggers is gonna help you understand yourself enough to start implementing the process. However, I don't find that there's as many action items like things to really implement in this book. So once you're done with triggers, you're gonna wanna to read book number three. Book number three is called Switch, How to Change Things When Change is Hard by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. Switch and triggers are really similar, but you're gonna have different takeaways when you read it from these two different perspectives. The thing that I love the most about Switch was it gives you a really simple analogy to help understand what needs to be taken into account when you're making changes, when you're working on your habits. So this book on habits is specifically gonna talk to you about the writer, the elephant, and the path, the three things that you need to address when you're working on yours. To give you a little insight, the writer is the logical mind, the part of you that knows what it wants to do, that makes the plans. The elephant is the emotional part. It's the part that actually has to follow through on all the plans that the writer creates. And then the path are the obstacles or the things that might get in the way. This is more of the external that Triggers talks about. We've gotta make sure that the writer, the elephant, and the path are all conducive to our goals if we want to make sure that we can reach those goals or change the habits that will allow us to get there. After you've read those books, then you can move into a book called The Power of Habits, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business by Charles Duhigg. What this book is gonna do is help you to really understand why everything you want in life or business is on the other side of mastering your habits, whether this is tangible habits or intangible habits. The slight edge gets you committed to the process process of figuring this out, the power of habits gets you committed to the process of habits, gets you on board, gets you understanding their power, understanding why this is so important and why so much time and energy needs to be spent on this, why you're reading seven books on habits to begin with. If you're short on time, you could easily go from book one to book four, but I do have another recommendation for you in case you are short on time. I'll talk about that one after the next book. The Power of Habit is also gonna introduce the habit loop. This is cue, craving, routine, reward. And then it's gonna talk to you about strategies to help you navigate each one of those things within the habit loop in order to break old habits and create new ones. However, I think that the power of habit is better or more useful at getting you really on board with this topic. And book number five is the one that's gonna really help you master the habits. Book number five is Atomic Habits, an easy 
easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones by James Clear. And this is, of course, probably the most popular and definitely the quintessential book on habits. This is where you're gonna take all of your learning from all these other books, all of your commitment, all of your readiness, and you're gonna really put it into action. This is one of the most tangible, actionable books on habits that you could possibly read. It's gonna walk you through that habit loop again, but it's gonna go much deeper into each stage of that habit loop so that you can really figure out the right strategies to master each one. There are so many strategies it's gonna teach you, things like habit stacking, temptation bundling, and the two minute rule. The only complaint anybody can have about this book is that it's a lot. In fact, Atomic Habits is so much that I had a hard time remembering most of it to put into this review, which is where my sponsor Short Form comes into play. Short Form is like a book summary platform on steroids with dozens of genres to choose from, including favorites like entrepreneurship, motivation, and productivity. But their book guides are more like having a conversation with somebody who knows it so well, they can actually explain explain it better. They reorganize any complicated concepts so that they're easy to understand. They tie concepts into things taught in other books. They even offer interactive exercises and ways to engage with others so that you can go deeper on the topic. Plus they publish new book guides every week based on subscriber votes. One of my favorite ways to use short form is to review personal development books I've already read or get the concepts of books that friends or clients are reading. And although they won't completely take the place of a good book, it will help me figure out which books are worth my limited time. If you'd like five of the seven books on habits that we've been talking about today, be sure to get a free five day trial to short form using my unique link shortform.com slash Tara T-A-R-A, or click the link in the description. Okay, so what are books six and seven? We've talked about books to get you committed to the process, to get you really on board with the idea of building your habits, to help you understand yourself, understand habits, and how to create them. What could possibly be next? These next two books are specifically for entrepreneurs and leaders, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People by Stephen Covey. This is specifically gonna help you build mindset habits around the way you're thinking and approaching things. The seven habits that he talks about are be proactive, begin with the end in mind, put first things first, think win-win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergize, and sharpen the saw. So books like Atomic Habits are not really gonna help you to implement these habits, but all the other books you read up until this point are definitely gonna help you to master this because it's gonna help you to understand yourself and anything that might get in the way, as well as keep you committed to the process. If you wanna be successful either in life or in business, I highly recommend you read this book because it's going to help you change the way you approach these things so that you can make sure you do so in an effective, successful way. Now books number one, five, and six probably had the biggest impact on me outside of book number seven. Book number seven is High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Become That Way by Brendan Burchard. This book talks about the six personal and professional habits to increase your own performance, to make sure that you are doing things in the best, most effective, most powerful way possible. These six habits are to seek clarity, generate energy, raise necessity, increase productivity, develop influence, and demonstrate courage. I would say raising necessity is really about getting yourself committed or maybe even getting other people committed, whoever needs to be committed to see that vision through. And then increasing productivity is just that, increasing productivity so that you're productive at the right things. You could say the habit to develop influence is really about how you're relating to other people who might be involved. And demonstrating courage would be more how you relate to yourself and the goal itself. But there is a lot to each of these habits, including prompts, exercises, or even tips on where to start if you know that area needs a lot of work. I recommend high performance habits last because as you've gone through all the other ones, you've learned about yourself, you've learned how to master habits, and you've gotten yourself into the right place, you're gonna be able to use all of that to really help you fine tune the areas in your life that matter most to your own goals, your own business, your own leadership, or whatever it is that you're wanting to really master your habits for. If you have a favorite book on habits that is not on this list, be sure to comment below and let us all know what it is and where you would recommend we read it before or after any of these books. 
Be sure to also give me a fist bump if you've made it to the end and let me know which book you're most looking forward to or if you plan to check out short form for yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and be sure to check out these other videos on books you might enjoy as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.